Good day everyone. So this video presents the discussions on staggered fasteners. Now in attention member connection in attention member connection made up with holes, the net area will be maximized if the fasteners are placed in a single line as shown in figure one. Okay, so we have here now. So in figure one we use one line only to connect this tension member to another member. Na. So, in this way, we can maximize the area because in the part of the net area, we have only one hole to be deducted. Na. Okay. But sometimes, the limitation of the dimension in this dimension A, na. So, if this is limited, then we are forced to use many lines. Na? So, as in figure 2, if this dimension A is limited, then we are forced to use many lines instead of one line as presented in figure 1. Na? So, we will do like this. Now, as you notice, the net area now is reduced because... We have many area of the holes to be deducted in the cross area. No? So we have here one, two, three. No? Uh, so in order to maximize and minimize or minimize the area of the hole to be deducted, no? it is best if you arrange the holes in a staggered pattern. No? Instead of uh, arranging them in one column like this in figure 2. No? So, arranging the bolts in staggered pattern will increase or will reduce no? the area of the hole to be deducted. Why? No, because if you place the holes in a staggered position like this in figure, t figure 3, no? the hole deducted is not the H as if we are arranging them in a single vertical line. Na? So we have here deduction dh, we have here deduction dh, we have here deduction dh. But if you arrange it in a standard pattern, na? we have this deduction dh, but this is not dh but d prime. Uh, we have also here another d prime where d prime is lesser than dh. Na? Uh, so in 1952, Cochrane proposed that when deducting the area corresponding to a staggered hole, use a reduced diameter of the hole D prime given by this formula. Uh, so meaning the D prime is lesser than D H because D H you subtract S squared over 4 G. Or what is S and what is G? Uh, so ito mangyari, no? So the net width yung D, no? Yung B natin, yung net width, pakita ka na lang ha. Ah, ito. So, ito yung width natin, di ba? Width B. Uh, so, the net width is equal to the B minus the deduction of the holes. Uh, now, here, in a staggered pattern, the net width is equal to the width B, then you subtract the summation of the D prime. Uh, where D prime is equal to DH minus S squared over 4G. No? Uh, so, B, B N now is equal to B minus summation of DH minus S squared over 4G. So, where S is the horizontal distance between adjacent holes or adjacent bolts. No? Uh, we term that as the pitch or S. Uh, so, as shown here. So, if this is bolt 1, bolt 2, bolt 3. So, between bolt 1 and 2, you have a distance horizontal between them S1. Uh, G is also what we call the gauge, and this is the vertical distance between adjacent bolts. Uh, so, between bolt 1 and bolt 2, we have also the vertical distance between them, G1. So we have here, DH minus S1 squared over 4G. Uh, between bolt 2 and bolt 3, we have also the distance horizontal, S2. And we have the horizontal or vertical distance, G2. Na? Uh, so, the net area now is equal to the thickness of the plate times the net width. Uh, where the net width, if you write here, net area is equal to T times B minus summation of DH. Then this becomes plus S squared over 4G. 
summation now when you remove the parenthesis so you have minus summation of dh plus summation of s squared over 4g okay so we will apply the formula now so by the way this is for uniform thickness huh? so in the next video we will present how we apply the formula when we have non-uniform thickness okay so example problem one a connection shown in figure is t-120 ito figure na to na use fy to 75 and fu equal to 480 for the angular section rivet diameter or bolt diameter is 12 mm itong mga bolts na to uh, and they are spaced as shown and the rivet hole is 3 mm bigger than the rivet diameter uh, okay so we are using 12 mm rivets so the hole diameter is 15 mm na 3 mm bigger okay so what shall we do if we encounter an angular section so in our last video presented na so that is not in staggered the holes or the bolts are not in staggered arrangement na but instead they are arranged in a line na horizontal or vertical and they are plates or we encounter if you recall we encounter an angular section but we have only one leg being connected to the gasset plate na okay now how about here if we have an angular section and then the two legs are connected na uh, to a to another member so you have the here the hole for the short leg and we have two holes here for the longer leg okay so in order to analyze the angular section into a plate flat plate no just cut some more here cut some more here and then place the part of the longer leg above the shorter leg like this na okay so diba this is 150 by 90 by a thickness of 12 mm so what shall we do when we cut it here na? when we cut it here so the longer leg or the shorter leg is still 90 mm but this part of the longer leg you have to deduct the thickness 12 mm so 150 minus 12 up to here so 150 minus 12 is 138 na? and then you add that to 90 mm because you will place this part of the longer leg above this shorter leg so meaning to say the total width na? the total width of the combined the shorter leg and this part of the longer leg will become 90 plus 138 and 90 plus 138 is equal to 228. Uh, so we can now view this or consider this angular section as a flat plate with a width of 228 and a thickness of 12 mm. Okay? Now, since the holes are not in vertical arrangements, no? so they are staggered. Okay? We will take a repeating arrangement. Uh, so, as you notice, nag-repeat lang tong arrangement na to, na? So, bolt A, bolt B, bolt C. Bolt A, bolt B, bolt C. Na? Uh, so, nag-repeat lang. Okay, so, anong gawin natin dyan? We will just consider one repeated arrangement. Na? Uh, so, I will just take these arrangements, na? So, and then I will label this later bolt A or hole A, hole B, and then hole C. Okay. Now, the next step here is to find the critical chain. Now, when you say find the critical chain, that is, find the chain arrangement, no? find the chain in which we have the lesser or the smallest area. Area, net area, the smallest net area. And the smallest net area of that chain will govern, meaning it is the weakest or the critical chain. Okay. So, to illustrate, I will have the solution. Huh? So, again, this angular section with the given holes will be 
transformed into a flat plate in which the thickness is equal to 12 mm and the total width here from top to bottom equal to 228 as what we have discussed because again we will cut this longer leg and then place it on top of the shorter leg okay so we have it here huh okay so the question number one find the permissible tensile load t based on yielding of the gross area uh, then number two which of the following is the value of the net area then number three find the permissible tensile load t based on tensile fracture of the net area and then use effective area equal to 0.85 of the net area Sandali, uh, ina muna ako ng kape, ha? Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, the number four, determine the design strength for LRFD. Use AE equal to AN. Ha? Uh, so, in the LRFD, we consider that the effective net area equal to the net area given to some problem, ha? Depende lang to kung anong, ano, anong, anong i-adapt niya na effective area. Pero pag hindi ito given, uh, of course, we will make use of our discussion last time for the shear lag, no? Uh, ito man yung U. Uh, ito man yung U. Pero given sa problem. As you notice, the yung plate naman natin, dalawang angles, my holes. No, ah, not dalawang angles. Dalawang legs sa angles, my holes. Meaning, both legs are connected to another member from which the, or to which the angle is to be connected. No? Uh, so, meaning, uh, this 0.85 is just a reduction factor of the net area in order to consider an effective area. So, in number 4, given ya, effective area is just equal to the computed net area. Okay, unahin una natin tong number 1, no? So, find the permissible, permissible tensile load T based on yielding of the gross area. So, gross area meaning, wala kang ididak na area. Given ba ang area sa angular section? Wala siguro, no? Sa problem? Ah, wala, not given. So, we will compute it. Uh, but if in case, may given kang gross area, no? Area of the angle, angular section, of course, you have to use it, no? No need of computing it. Uh, pero dito, we are not given the area of the angular section, so we have to compute it, no? Sige, dali ha. Okay. So, we will now solve number one. Okay. So, FT... By ASD, we know that the allowable tensile stress there is 0.60 of FY, you know? So, 0.60 of 275 is 165. So, if I will compare the actual stress, yung small letter FT, and the allowable stress, the big FT, so, ito yan, no? allowable. I will equate this to the actual or the applied tensile stress. So I have now Ft equal to T over Ag. Uh, where I will equate applied equal to allowable. So I will make use here 165. T is the unknown and then I have the gross area. Uh, so that is 165 equal to T over 12 times 2 to 8. No? Gross area of the angular section. Uh, transform into a flat plate. Uh, so we have 451.44 or if you will not use the this manner of computation wherein we equate the applied stress to the allowable stress we can make use of our equation naman, no? or we have the pn over phi uh, so pn over ah no pn over omega na no? so that is our allowable strength. Uh, so, the allowable load that can be carried by the angular section, Pn over omega T is equal to 0.6 Fy Ag. Uh, parehas lang to. Multiply na. Uh, ito, 0.60 Fy then times Ag. Okay? Uh, so, here in this computation, as if Pn over omega T is equal to the T here. 
Okay? So, Tn over omega t equal to 0.60. Fy ito 75. Then, Ag is 12 times 2 to 8. Uh, still, we come up with 451.44. Uh, that is the answer for number 1, na? Based on gross area. Okay. So, number 2, we are asked for the value of the net area. Uh, so, value of the net area to be used if in case we are asked to solve the T based on the tensile fracture of the net area. Ito na yung question number 3, no? So, question number 3, what is the T based on the tensile fracture of the net area? So, of course, we will consider the critical chain that will give us the net area. Smallest net area, no? Okay. So, I will consider again the bolt or hole arrangements here. So, I am now considering this repeated section. So, I label them, the holes. Hole A, hole B, and hole C. Ah, so, I will now look for the critical chain. So, isa-isahin ko to. So, possible, the fracture will follow chain AB. Na? So, chain AB. So, how will the plate or the angular section fail when you apply a force T? So, it will fail in this path. Or chain, na? Ayan. So, pat, mag-fail siya dito, na? Uh, following hole A, then run to B, and then down. Okay? Uh, so, the crack will follow the hole arrangement, na? Ayan. Okay. So, using Cochrane, so, our net area is equal to the thickness, 12 mm, na? Times the gross width B, which is 228. And then, ano ba yun? How will I deduct? I will deduct the number of the holes, but I will add S squared over 4G. Uh, so here, from A to B, my S ka ito 100. Na. Then my G ka ito 90. Tignan ko lang ha, yan ha. Hindi ko na sinulat yan. Okay. So this is S 100. This is G, 90. That is between hole A and hole B. Uh, so, in the chain AB, wala namang ibang holes dyan na makakita mo. Dalawa lang, no? Okay, so I will now compute, no? So, the net area, AN, is equal to thickness 12 minus the gross width, 228. You subtract 2 holes. Uh, now, take note, again, we are not considering the we are not considering the circular circular hole, no? But instead, we are considering the hole projection. No? The projected area of the hole in the cross-section. Uh, so, that is why we have 2 times 15. Uh, because this diameter of the hole is 15 mm. 3 mm bigger than the bolt diameter that is 12 mm. So, 2 times 15. And then you add... S squared over 4G. So, 100 squared over 4 times 90. Uh, so, chain AB, if you compute, we have this area, net area, 2,709.33. Uh, kindly recheck, ha? Huh? Okay. That is for the chain AB. Okay. We will look for another possible chain and failure okay so possible yung crack natin it will not go through b but it will go directly to c and then down uh, so we can consider here chain ac uh, so paano ba mag fracture yung uh, angular section natin like this na uh, so, from A, then we'll go to directly to hole C. Okay? So, two holes na naman, hole A and hole C. And then, it win, in between hole A and hole C, we have here S, which is 40. We have here G, which is 90 plus 63. Huh? Uh, I think the 45 and 63 are... Uh, 45 yung given. Uh, itong 30 and 90 given din to. 
Itong 63, makumpute mo na to. Ha? Uh, hindi pa given ang 63, pero makumpute mo na to. Uh, so, i-add mo lang, i-subtract mo. Okay. So, this is 30 and then 90. So, ah, madali lang. Yung 228, is subtract 45, given man tong distance na to. Uh, subtract mo rin tong given na distance to. Given to sa problem 30 and 90. Uh, so, makumpute mo yung 63. Uh, hindi ko na pinakita, ha? So, same, when you solve problem similar to this, pwede nang hindi ipakita to. Idiritso mo na lang ilagay yan sa figure. Uh, okay. So, deduct two holes and then you add a squared over 4G. Okay? So, considering chain AC, ito yung mangyari, na? So, 12 times 228 minus dalawang holes, A and C. Uh, plus S squared over 4G. Uh, G here is 153. Uh, then, you have the net area for chain AC. 2,407.37. Uh, then, lastly, we have the chain ABC. No? Pwede naman from A, yung crack na, then we will go to B, and then it will go to C, and then down. Uh, so, the last, we have the chain ABC. Uh, so, for chain ABC, ito yung crux natin. Uh, uh, so, parang hindi na ganong mahirap iintindihin yan. Uh? Okay. So, ilang holes ba ang i-deduct natin for chain ABC? Tatlo, na? Uh? Hole A, hole B, hole C. Uh, then, in between A and B, may S squared over 4G ka. In between B and C, may S squared over 4G ka. Diba? Uh, so, dalawa mo na yung, we have already two sa uh, S squared over 4G value. Na? Okay, and then, chain ABC, we will deduct three holes. Okay, so we have here, the net area is equal to the thickness 12 times the width 228. Then, you subtract three times hole area. Na? Uh, then, plus, between A and B, we have S squared over 4G, 100 square over 4 times 90. Uh, then, plus, in between B and C, so we have S squared over 4G. Uh, then, we have the area, net area for chain ABC, 2,700.76. Okay, so, if you compare, we have three net area, no? Chain ABC, chain AB or AC, and then chain AB. Patlo. Uh, but na this. Chain AC will produce the least value of the net area. Na? So, bali, critical pala yung chain AC. So, if in case, you will have the load on this angular section bolted to another part na, another structure. So, possible failure for the net area, that is the chain AC. Ito yung pinaka-possible. Okay. So, we will consider that. So, the value of the net area for chain AC will govern in our computation for the net area. So, we have here na. So, the smallest area, which is 2,407.37. Okay. So, that is the answer for number 2. Then, for number 3, if we solve for the tensile force that can be carried by the angular section based on net area, we will be using this. Huh? Uh, so, we can compute. So, allowable tensile stress for net area is 50% of a few. Uh, so we can compute like this. Now, now we are using the uh, stress. The actual stress small ft is equated to the allowable stress 0.50 of a few. Uh, so we can compute for t. Uh, or, we can use also the notation pn over omega t. Huh? Uh, Pn omega, P over omega t is 0.50 of Fu AE. Uh, so, this is when your omega is 2. No? Uh, so, Fu over 2 is 0.5 of Fu AE. 
Okay, and Janayan lahat, no? So, when you substitute, you come up also with 491.10 newtons. Ah, kilo newton na to, ha? Ah, kilo newton na to, change. Ah, ito, ah, dapat kama to, ha? Ah, nagkalami, ah, nagkalami, nagkamali, no? Ah, 49103, kama. Then, 491.10 kilo newtons. Ah, same as this. Note nyo lang yan, ha? Mga misprinted ng konti. Uh, kasi madaling, madaling araw ako magawa ng PowerPoint ko at saka yung video. No? Okay, sige. Okay, so for number 4, the question is, what is the design strength using the LRFD method? Uh, so, we have discussed that already. No? Uh, in the LRFD method, we have the resistance factor. So, for gross area, we have 0.9 and for net area, we have 0.75. Ganun pa rin, ibahin lang natin yung resistance factor. So, dito sa ASD, we have the uh, safety factor. Uh, there, in LRFD, we have the resistance factor. We have discussed that in the previous video. No? Okay. So, using LRFD from gross area, uh, so this is the design strength of our angular section uh, 0.9 FY AG 671.16 kN uh, then from gross area or net area so the design strength is 0.75 FU AE ok so substitute we have 866.65 uh, so meaning to say saan ba yung mag -govern? so the one that will govern is the Gross area, 677.16 na. Uh, so, the design strength is 677.16 as governed by the gross area. Okay? So, that's the end of our discussion na. So, do your, uh, do your plate, then mag-prepare na naman ako. So, the next topic, next video presented is about naman uh, staggered connection with non-uniform thickness and then we have the block shear uh, and then isa yung video lang yan no? I am planning to have one video so that we can uh, we can finish the tension member topic no? uh, so if we can finish the tension member topic uh, maybe we can schedule a quiz on Thursday, ha? Huh? Uh, so, just post, uh, just keep posted for the announcement. So, I am planning to have a quiz on Thursday. Uh, on our schedule in the Moodle, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, but I think we can just consume the one and a half hours. I will just give you 20 questions, huh? Uh, 20 questions, my choices... Pero you submit the computation, the solution, na. Uh, so, this is just an early announcement. So, keep posted for the final announcement, na. Okay. So, thank you very much and have a good day. Uh, stay safe, everyone. God bless.